Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. Today I'm doing an unboxing and a review of the Target Room Essentials Hairpin Desk. This desk can be used for students, for home, for makeup, for anything. I bought it, I want you to see me unboxing it, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. So first things first, this box is heavy. It has to be at least 50 pounds, maybe 40, 50 pounds. When I got it at Target, I ordered it online and I picked it up in the front of the store and she put it in the cart for me. When I got it to the car, I just like slid it from the cart to the car. But when I got home, I had to get my dolly. I could have carried it in, but I'm not putting that stress on my back. So it is a heavy desk. Um, that's not to say that it's uh, sturdy or well put together, but it is heavy. So first things first, I ripped open the box. It was pretty easy to open and I just wanted to pull the parts out. I thought for sure it was going to be in so many parts, but it wasn't. It came with just the four legs and the top of the desk already put together. So. I took everything out and took off the plastic just to make sure that everything was uh, in the pieces that it was like supposed to be. So there's a paper that comes in there and it tells you that the top of the desk can hold no more than 60 pounds and the bottom shelves can hold 15. It also shows you what comes in the box and how the desk should be put together. It's actually pretty self-explanatory. So. What I wanted to do was get all the boxes and stuff out of the way and get started. For me, and I feel like for you too, it's always best to check the hardware for scratches and dents. And inside that packet, they do provide instructions on how to get with them if something is broken or damaged. I mean, obviously you can take it back to the store, but they give you a phone number. So I would um, advise you using that phone number. Here I am just putting all the legs up, making sure that they are all the way that they are um, made to be. It comes with 24 5 and an eighth inch hex head screws and one L wrench. Man, that L wrench. I really wish I had a power tool because using that L wrench was annoying. At this point, I was really wishing that I had um, the hex head um, attachment for my power drill because I would have just used it. This L wrench is so lame and had my nails been long like they are most times, oh, this would have taken me even longer than it did. So I quickly realized that putting the leg on and seeing the holes underneath the holes of the leg, it didn't exactly like match up so I had to like wiggle it I just focused on getting two or three screws per leg in um, putting the legs on and then backtracking and going to add more screws I just wanted to get this done now this product is made in China I don't know how it's manufactured I'm pretty sure that there are not people making this by hand but the way it lined up some of them lined up and some of the holes did not. I guess that's to be expected, but this did cost me, I believe, $60. So it's not an expensive desk, but it's not super duper cheap. I kind of wish the holes had been made a little bit better. I'm working diligently just to get the screws in, uh, screwing it as far as I can by hand, and then using the L wrench to get it all the way in there. I did get most of them in pretty tight, but I'm going to give you an up close of what it looks like when the holes don't exactly overlap. Using my phone to show you how I'm getting them in, how much of a tight fit it is, and if I had long nails, I could not have gotten it done. But I also want you to see just how when the leg is over the hole, the holes don't exactly line up. Right here is where I had to decide if I wanted to keep this desk or take it back. And 
honestly, I like the way the desk looks. I like the hair pin legs. So I decided to keep it and keep at trying to get these screws in. The fact that it can hold 60 pounds is great because I'm not going to have too much on it. Just my laptop and my makeup stuff. So I decided to keep it. Here's another up close. And then I just continue to work and get the last leg on. Now, on this last leg, I actually was only able to get in four of the six screws. I really tried to get those last two screws in. One of them went in about halfway, and then the other one did not go in at all. I could actually try again to get it in, but I felt like four was better than none, and it's not going to make the desk fall. So, this is a heavy desk, so I lift it with my legs to not hurt my back and it actually is a really cute desk so I picked up all my crap and then I put the desk by the window where I'm going to be using it to do my makeup and do other videos inside the desk it did have two pieces of um, a foam to keep the desk from like collapsing if something was on top of it which is awesome I was able to kind of lift the desk up a little bit and get that foam out of there. And then I began putting all of my things on my desk. My next um, goal is to find a chair, a really cute chair. Um, Target has a furry ottoman that I'll show you, but I think I want a chair with a back because I do plan to use this desk a lot. The next thing I need is a makeup organizer, something really cute, perhaps in like a rose gold. I'm really trying to play off of the white and gold and add like blush colors. So if you know of a really cute makeup organizer, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll just go online and find one myself. So now I'm just adding things to my desk. Normally I would sit in my bed and do my makeup, but now I don't have to. I have uh, natural light in front of my window. I have my mirror set up. I can still use my ring light um, and I can do my videos from this desk. So I got what I wanted. It was a little bit of work, but it was absolutely worth it. The last thing I wanna show you is how ghetto they put these stickers over where the screws go. They could have done better, but I can't complain too much. Overall, I really like this desk. If you've tried any furniture from Target, let me know what you think of yours and what you think of this desk. Until next time, y'all have a good day.